Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today I'm excited to review this cigar. I had one previously and was very impressed. This is from our good friend, AJ Fernandez, who I think you've heard of. This is the counterpart to the Bellus Arts line that came out recently last year or so. This is the Bellus Artes Maduro. Now this is the Robusto Extra Size, five and a half by 52. Nice looking cigar. Box pressed, fairly sharp. Looks like a stick of chocolate, doesn't it? Beautiful. There's your density. Now this cigar uses a Brazilian Matafina Maduro wrapper a San Andreas Mexican binder, a lot of dark notes, and Nicaraguan filler. It is available in four sizes. Today's choice, the Robusto, Robusto Extra, five and a half by 52, Short Churchill six by 48, Toro six by 54, and the Gordo six and a half by 58. As I said, I had this earlier this week, and if you follow me on Facebook, you saw that I did, and uh, I had some some teasing notes, good notes to say about it. Priced from nine to eleven dollars, and uh, available now. I purchased this locally at a shop, so they are on shelves now. So, rather than hold things up, let's get right to it. The new Bella Sartes Maduro Robusto Extra. Really is a nice looking cigar. Really is. There. It has a slightly oiliness to the wrapper. I like the looks of it a lot. Mm. That will work. Right there. Look what you got. One thing I like about this cigar, and I noticed this yesterday, is you have to wait zero time from light up to where you can settle down and tell you what the flavors are. They are, they come at you immediately. And that's good. That's very really good. Sweet chocolate, brown sugar, black coffee, tangy citrus. Those are your primary flavors, and it's very, it's very chocolatey, very chocolatey. And the brown sugar just really makes it nice and sweet, and I like the tanginess of the uh, citrus. Black pepper at around a seven. It's not overly peppery, but I don't think that's what you're going to notice in this cigar. It's, it's the deep, dark notes of sweet chocolate. There's a little bit of nutmeg floating around there, too, that sort of mellows things out but those are your beginning flavors and that that is a good start well i'm at the first third and the chocolate flavor is amazing it has a bit of richness to it now, and I believe that's not so much from butter. It's from, believe it or not, the creamy nutmeg combining with those citrus notes and then with the uh, chocolate. And the coffee makes it a very deep, dark cigar. The brown sugar is just fantastic. It, it, the, the cigar is very sweet, very dark and very sweet. Isn't that a good combination? Medium bodied, which may surprise you. This is not going to be a cigar that is 
going to knock you down, but it's going to be full of dark, sweet flavors. I simply love the flavors in this cigar. Now, if you want a very good tasting Maduro and your tastes sort of align with mine, you're going to like this cigar. For the first third, and this may shock a lot of people, I'm rating it a 95. It is that good. It is, you remember last year's number one cigar, the protocol probable cause that was so good and it was a Maduro. This is sort of in that direction. They don't taste the same, but it's that sort of an unbelievable sweetness and richness and impressiveness. So there you are for your first third, the Bellas Artis Maduro, 95. Well, we're finished with the second third. Still very dark noted. The sweetness has slightly decreased, but you still have that nice overall flavors that I described before. The nutmeg seems to be infiltrating a little more and you get a little more of it. <clears throat> the finish is sort of a chocolate and nutmeg. An ever so slight amount of the citrus, not enough to call it full blown citrus, but it's, it's a citrusy type, small amount flavor with a large amount of chocolate and nutmeg. Does that make sense? It's a pretty good, decent lingering black pepper. I believe the black pepper is up on the front end too. It's probably up to an eight, seven and a half to eight. Good, good cigar. I'm just tasting the finish now again. Mm. But the flavors are about like they were, except they're not quite as sweet. So, still massive amounts of chocolate, coffee. Moderate amounts of brown sugar and, uh, and nutmeg. I'm dropping the two-thirds score to 93. Not a huge change but it did drop some sweetness on one with 93 so look so the final third will give really our overall rating let's see what it is well we are down to the end so let's wrap it up. I think my time was a little off there in the thirds, but uh, we got there. The sweetness really came back close to what it was in the beginning. That might have been on me. Maybe something in the middle I did different. But, uh, I don't think so, but uh, in the end, it came back. That's what I'm telling you. A lot of coffee notes in this cigar now, too. Still a lot of chocolate notes, a lot of sweetness from the brown sugar, and you have your nutmeg floating in there to sort of give it the creamy nutmeg note. But it's a very good cigar. Medium to full body. It did kind of reach medium to full. Finishes unchanged. This has been a surprisingly very good cigar. I don't know why I say surprisingly because it is made by AJ, but uh, I wasn't sure. There's a lot of ways you can go with Maduro. No sweetness, a lot of heavy, dark notes, maybe leathery. This cigar had what I like. Um, a lot of dark notes, plenty of them in the chocolate variety and coffee, and plenty of sweetness. Very good cigar. And on shelves now and not really priced terrible I enjoyed this cigar a lot final third I'm going back to a 94 
So your overall score is going to be a 94. And I believe that's where it belongs. It's it's one of the top cigars I've had this year, without a doubt. Excellent. It's just very tasty. Probably the highest rated Maduro. I'm working, working from memory. But uh, anyway, it's, uh, it's an excellent cigar, and I think you'll like it. So there you have it. The new A.J. Fernandez, Bellas Artis Maduro Robusto Extra, 94.